Hello everybody, how are we doing? Can you hear me and do I sound any better? It's new mic night, as well as other things, it's new mic night, new map, new mic, everything. So, uh, hello, how are we? Having a good week? Excellent, that's like three streams in a row that I've managed to get us <laughs> to work. Oh dear, you can but laugh now. The other thing, I had a, I've had a nightmare actually the last 24 hours. It's been uh, the computer packed up, couldn't steer, couldn't control anything. Turns out I had a clash of, uh, clash of my USBs. So, so there we go. But we're back. We're fixed. Actually, it was a good opportunity to reinstall the game. That was one of the tests I did. Um, was. Uh, reinstall the game because I have I have, my mod folder was a bit of a mess if I'm being honest I'd uh, I'd just dumped loads of stuff in it and tested stuff and left stuff there so actually I purged that completely I've been very selective about what I've put in there now starting with a bit of a clean slate so anyway we are on Green Valley which is uh, DJ Modding's new map if you haven't yet seen Argsy's map tour, well worth a check, because it's very, very good. I haven't crashed the car yet, no Ed, I've not crashed the car. Uh, Joe, nice to see you mate, finally getting in at the start, that's good. Um, so, uh, we thought we'd have a little bit of a drive around here for the next sort of 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, we are here at the shop, there's the, there's the map, we'll have a quick drive around, we're not going to, we're not going to do a full map tour, because actually... Um, like I said, Argsy did such an incredible job with his tour that it's, there's no point in me. I'd just be repeating him. So let him enjoy that one. If you want to go and see it, I've linked it in the description below, so go and check that out. Uh, but we'll have a little bit of a drive around. Um, we'll give you an idea of the size of it and the scale of it. And uh, and then we'll jump in and have a little bit of a play. I have got, rather than the main farm, which I got rid of, I've bought a little bit over here. Uh, and we're going to play with that. Uh, if you're on the Monday night Twitch stream, we already had a little bit of a play around on it and had a uh, had a bit of fun, but we're starting again from scratch tonight uh, and kicking in. So th there's the nice thing about this map it's it's kind of yeah there's a lot of um, there's a lot of big fields on it, but all of the farms have kind of got a a, a dairy animal s feel to them, um, which is quite nice because I think we're lacking in dairy farm options for maps so i think i think people will quite like this from that perspective so um what we'll do we will buy ourselves a little truck i'm i've got more money than i know what to do with at the moment um what we'll do before we start playing is we'll probably uh um reset the cash as well i was just setting things up uh, brock when does the map come out hopefully this weekend um there's a lot of testing on it um so there we go. Um, so let me... Westby, Westby is a dairy and beef map. Westby is also riddled with bugs and errors at the moment. So until it's a little bit more um, sorted out, some of the issues with it, it's uh, this is this is going to be a good viable option. Um, you know we're doing it. We'll go with the black one for a change. So let's uh, let's take this for a whirl. Um, and of course, it's in the wrong place because I was setting up a farm before. So let me just reset this. There's these lovely big open, um, there it is. There's these lovely big open sections here on both sides. So if you're buying machinery at the shop, you've got these lovely big expanses to, uh, to buy lots and lots of stuff before it kicks you out. So, Jack, we are going to have a little bit of a tour around, and then we're going to get into some grass work and set up a set up a nice dairy farm. So we'll go to the main first farm. We'll have a look at that, and then we'll basically we'll nip around the four farms, and we'll just run into the two towns. We won't look too much at the uh, the villages and things like that. Oh, breaks! Ooh, 
one of the issues with uh, resetting up your uh, resetting up your stuff. Um, one second. That is on. So why is that not working? Keybinds, keybinds. Why isn't that reversing? Accelerate. That's what I wanted. There we go. He was just staying in the truck up for me. Aramat, play them both, mate. <laughs> That's all I would say to that. Must be a Ford, the brakes don't work. No, definitely an error with the user on that one. Best truck made in FS history. John, I feel you may be a smidgen biased. Right, so here we are, main farm. And this kind of gives you an idea for how good these farms are. Just the layout, we are talking about this on Monday, the layout of them is really, really nice, actually. They have a, they have a DJ, if you've played any of DJ's maps in 19, you could, it's almost like if you went onto this map without knowing who made it, you could pretty much go, this is a DJ modding map, you can tell. So, uh, here we go. Some nice, lots of storage. Um, lovely big grain drying uh, operation here. Dry uh, dry corn is built into the map, as, in, as is anhydrous and propane as well, so that's quite good. Nick Alexander, this is indeed the Nebraska map, yes. Uh, two big cow stalls, slightly different, slightly smaller one there, and then this big one over here. Good evening, Argzy. Big shout out everyone uh, to Args tonight, who hit 10 K subs. Well done, mate. Very, very well deserved. So there you go. Um, the harvest or silos are really nice here as well, actually. Something DJ's done really nicely is um, hooked up these little generators to the blowers so you don't have to find a tractor. Um, so uh, that's quite a nice little touch. So what's the best thing to do from here? Now it is a 4x map, so it takes a while to get places. Um, so Ashley Farms is down there. Fair right. Well, do you know what? We'll go round this way. We'll look at. We won't. We'll maybe he head up to Rushville later, which is the main town up here. Um, so we'll do the four farms and have a look at Hay Springs down here and give you a feel for it, and then we'll jump into a little bit of work. Very well deserved ARGs and very well earned. You've put a power of work in over the last 18 months. Elite Joker, unfortunately not mate. Far too big, far too complex. Far too many custom things going on for it to be viable for console, unfortunately. So lovely, uh, lovely undulations and contouring of this map as well. It's great. We'll not make the same mistake we did on Monday. Evening Jason, nice to see you. I was saying, Args, before you came on, I was bigging you up before you came on. Just saying there's just absolutely no point in me doing a map tour because yours is just too good. So we'll head down here. There's a few things down here. Like a uh, chip factory. Um, grain storage, this lovely, huge, big uh, bridge that goes over the fields. We'll be working under that in a little bit of time. Learn from the best. <laughs> Thank you, mate. You probably didn't mean me, but... 
So we'll head down here. Can you give an idea for the size of the fields as well? There is a lot of big fields on this map. I wish we would get rid of the station. Why is that old goat? I like them. Is it precision ready? Um, I don't know. I don't think any maps are precision ready at the moment because we don't have enough information for how to implement it. But I do think uh, there will be some updates going pretty quickly to these maps as soon as precision farming comes out, for sure. For sure. So here is the second farm. This is a really nice farm. I was almost... Uh, this was almost the one I started my uh, game on. Lots of nice bits of greenery as well around the uh, defined fields there's lots of grassland that's uh, not defined but all cuttable but this is a lovely uh, this is a lovely farm another big cow shed down there a little bit smaller than the other one some good storage um, I believe this one has got the um, Oh no, I can't tell here until I've bought it. That's a bit of a climb up to that uh, cornfield, isn't it? Oh, there we go, there's uh, another cow pen there. And again, another grain dryer down here. ready to go gas station down there so we'll pull out of here whoa we'll not look where we're going before we pull out as well Pretty convinced that was our right of way. <laughs> Forgot what country it was in. Crash counter plus one. So I apologise if the sound's a bit odd on this mic. I literally have plugged it in, thrown an, uh, an equaliser on it, and. Uh, and that's it, so it probably does need a little bit more uh, TLC to make it sound semi-decent. Now, we are coming along here. That is not farms, that's where the whiskey and the beer is. So we've got some quite nice uh, um, productions as well on this map. Which we will take advantage of in a little bit later on. Here we are heading into the town just here. It is a new mic, Music Man. It arrived about three hours ago. But Fisher, it's coming out hopefully this week. <laughs> I know, Derek, what was it? What was the map that had. Uh you got speeding fines on uh, so hay springs let's just do a little lap through here it's all like default the old Tim Hortons on a on a DJ map isn't it a strip mall down here Bank of America on the corner there keep going around There you go, that is the swirling spindle, that's your uh, um, cotton cell point, bale cell point there. So it's a busy town, what's going on here? Houses are nice. I'm going to run this red light here as um, wine, so again that's something else you can do on this map that you can't do on many others. That's the oats, bowling alley, a few other bits and pieces. Gas station here. 
heading up to the water tower. McDonald's, can't go wrong with McDonald's, that's a sell point actually for, for uh, quite a few things. And then over here, these cars coming out of nowhere. The wide streets are good for auto drive, that is true. And then we will head up here, Jason Collins. What a gent. Thank you very much for the super chat, sir. That is very kind of you. Uh, here we are, Hillside Ranch. This is a nice big one, nice big spacious one. Again, lots of buildings. Is there a traffic spline built in for auto drive? There will be if there's cars on the map. Auto drive will automatically convert those. I can't remember if I... Uh, if I said yes when I opened the map or not. There you go. More silos for forage. Your dryer and your bins there. Animal pens. There you go, a nice pull through on the dryer. Uh, Music Man, no, I did not get the beacon. I was doing my research over the last couple of weeks. And I've gone for the Deity V07U. Still got uh, LEDs on, so it must be good. You know the rules, don't you? LEDs make everything better. And then we're going to head up here to the fourth farm. You can see it just past the dip here. Uh, keyboard came right, Args. It was too many uh, USBs, too, uh, too many control devices, so I had to basically unplug everything. And I've plugged the bare minimum back in, so the Fanatec stuff, the racing stuff's unplugged at the moment. But Which was weird, because I haven't, um, haven't changed anything. I've not unplugged or replugged anything in at all. So very odd that it just decided all of a sudden that it didn't want to play anymore. Um, so there's the fourth farm. Well, do you know what? We'll run up to the other. We will run up to the other town just so you can see it. And that kind of covers off the most uh, most stuff. Ah, actually, I wonder if my sound is uh, slightly off because I can't change it through here, can I? Try getting a USB switch similar to an HD device. Okay, might look into that, Dazed. I do have a big, I, I have a big 15 bank um, power, powered USB thing, so um, so I'm running that, but I think it's just, they do say you can only really run. Yeah, I think that might be the truck. Audio. Actually, it might uh, my settings because I I did a game reinstall as well. Let me just drop my FS audio down a bit. It's probably a little on the loud side. Actually, there we go. So here's Rushville to our left. There's a couple of things here. A few farmers markets and things. This is a slightly bigger town. Yeah, sorry guys, that was a bit loud. I hadn't reset my sound, my audio settings. Um, so there we go, Applebee's. Wrong side of the road, fire station. The old Mehihan rex restaurant there. There's your mill. There's another co-op. These, uh, these drivers are pretty... Erratic, aren't they? Wendy's there. What's that? Post office, the dairy, Goldcrest Arcade, another strip mall there. Another bowling alley, I like the bowling alleys here.
So there you go. A little bit smaller this town, Dunkin' Donuts. Can't go wrong with that, can you? A few houses. But we'll kind of try and discover some of this as we get on. What do you start off with? I am not in New Farmer mode, so I couldn't tell you that. But I do believe, based on what I saw when I kind of first fired it up a few days ago, I think there's just standard stuff for Demco, Orga Wagon, a Combine. It was a Case Tractor. Uh, there you go, another mill. There's tons, like, you can sell everything everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean, Skewer. Tourists. British tourist on holiday. Um, yes, look at look at the amount of options you've got for everything in the sell points. It's great to see this. I really like it when map makers do that. Just give you tons of choices as to where to sell stuff. I mean, look at that flower everywhere. So it's good. I like that whiskey, dry corn. So these are some, these are some other things: whiskey, dry corn, soy milk. Uh, oatmeal. Uh, look at the amount of things. Oatmeal. Oatmeal's quite uh, lucrative. Pasta, chips, beer, wine, ethanol, anhydrous and propane for uh, for drying your corn and uh, planting your corn. Waste potatoes. See their um, dazed potato pack, which I obviously have installed as a as a mod. So there you go. Uh, no, John, this is not the updated version. Uh, DJ said he was going to send it, but he didn't send it over yet. So uh, we're still running the one from the other night. There's the man himself. DJ, how's it going, buddy? Just giving a quick run around before we jump into the... Jump in and have a bit of fun. Is that where I go? Losing my bearings now. I think it is down here. Yes, that's where we want to be. So we're going to do a bit of grass work tonight. Where will you be able to download it when it comes out? If you check in the description, I've put all the links to DJ's uh, Facebook page, etc. in there. And uh, you'll be able to grab it as soon as it's out. Is there going to be a series on here? I think so, Trey. I think we might use this as our uh, regular Wednesday night stream for a few weeks. It's performing really well as a map, actually. For a big map, it's uh, very smooth. Running great. So what we'll do... This is our farm. We own this little bit of grass here. In fact, let me show you. We own this little bit of grass here. We need the field. We own the field just the other side as well. So that brown field you can see there. Uh, over here, we've got obviously the farm and field 16, which is right next to the farm. This huge field 27 here. We've got that. And then here, this is grassland. Um, but again, I'm kind of thinking I would like to drive uh, quite a heavy uh, focus on animals on this farm. So we'll do that. So we're going to need a lot of grass. And uh, silage and chaff and all of that stuff. All of that good stuff. So... Here we go. We've got some kit here. We'll run through this in a minute. We've got, we've got some... We didn't skimp. Let's put it that way. We've got some nice toys to play with. So, we will... I just want to check and see what happens when I... Uh, it would be interesting if I took a trek to... No yeah, it would actually. We're going to try and merge some of that stuff together. Now, what happens if I... Uh, Okay, so by the dryer, there we go. So now this should show up in my productions. There it is. So I need some propane from somewhere at some point. We're going to need to go and buy that. Um, and we need some corn. So that's good to know. We'll uh, sort that later on. Over here is our... Uh, we'll need to buy this as well. Do I need to buy this one? Yes, I do. Look at that, 750 meg. You remember some of the mo you know, remember with 19, you were like 1.4 gig for a standard size map with loads of loads of bits and pieces on it. Crazy, crazy, yeah? So there we go. 
Um, that makes our silage. Corn silage as well. Uh, so we get chaff from that. So we'll do a bit of both. I don't think I've got a cornfield yet. Uh, let me just check my... No, I've got a big field of oats there. So we'll need to plant corn if we want corn silage later on. But we can do that. That's probably not a bad call. That looks like uh, oats to me. Yes, it is. So we'll get a combine for that at some point as well. But we'll start with some grass work tonight. See how that goes. Really nicely done. So, we have got custom moddings. John Deere's here. That one with the front hitch, obviously. Oh, they've both got front hitches for mowing purposes. Uh, we've got from the Roland Pack, the 51,000 litre trailer. Um, and we've got this uh, rather nice New Holland with this pickup header. So that'll be fun too. And we got this because we could and we needed something else with LSWs. So let's dive straight in. Get this started. Yeah, totally agree, DJ. I was saying this is why I'm live streaming it because there was no point in me doing a vid when Args did such a perfect job of it. It was just kind of unnecessary <laughs> to repeat the information. So, had some fun on Twitch on Monday with it. Gonna have some fun tonight on it. Gonna play a little series on this as well. There we go, we'll get hooked up at the back here. Good evening, Banks. How's it going, my rusty the donut money? How's it going, mate? Nice to see you. So we'll cut this little section down here, and then I think we'll go and do uh, the other piece down at the bottom as well. Anything. I don't really know where the entrance to this field is, so I end up just rolling down this bank. I'm sure that's okay. Might even try a little bit of auto drive with the uh, with the trailer. I like the invoices mod I saw today. I think it is scooter. I think it's on a multi-farm map. So if you were uh, if you use if you contract somebody to do some stuff for you, you could you can you can pay them for the privilege now, which I think is quite a nice idea. All right, toggle work mode. Let's put it into swath dropping. That's the one we want. Um, fire up the back one. Fire up the front one. How's the noise levels? That's quite noisy. Let me just drop this down again. So you're not deafened. I'll need to go and sort that later on. Uh, oh, beg your pardon. Didn't unfold it. We're having a repo. No, we're, we're, we're being more efficient from Monday. In fact, you know, that's a good point. You guys have been here twice. We'll go to the other one. Jeez, I'm so accommodating. A joint video tutorial. Are we getting a trailer for Sunday this week? Not every week, Peter. No, no. No, no. Maybe for the start of every new season. Hint, hint. What I might be doing with it. Mike, hopefully in the next few days, mate. Some final testing doing on it. I think it's invoiced to the individual farms, so... 
um, we would need to we would need to start a second farm. I could have recorded it, not based on some of the chat that was on it, Mally. It's like MRG after dark, Twitch on Mondays. You need to cover your kids' ears if you're uh, if you're joining Twitch. Particularly Junt and Argsy kind of go off on one. There we go. Switch to the back. Fire that up. This is this is what I like about the grassland. It's um, it's just independent of a field, which is quite nice. Now you could create a field with this, we could run a ploughed edge around it and turn it into a field at some point, but at the moment we can just have some fun with it. Yeah, it's quite a nice escape, isn't it, Scott? <laughs> John, look at you so innocent. Oh, there you go, there's a, there's a high praise indeed, DJ. Big X is saying this is his Flint Hills from 19. It's good, Big, you will like it. It's got that feel, it's got a really nice feel about it. Uh, JP, when the right map comes out, I will very much consider that, yes. Absolutely. No, I had a whole heap of fun with uh, Bull's Gap. Oh look, there's a... A little bit of... Uh, grass not mowing on that side I think I'm too close to the tree, maybe there is a field boundary here that's interesting ok this is a huge this is a huge expanse of grass I don't know how much of it I own actually where does, it, where does my bit run out, I don't know it does go right down to the bridge where can you get the mower um, from the mod top Let's not go the whole way, shall we? Or we're going to end up with so much grass we don't know what to do with it. At this rate, we might need a bunker anyway. Tasty Unicorn! Welcome! Remember chatting to you this week? Nice to have you here. I did crazy. And now I don't need it, because I've got a mower that'll do it for me. So I'm being cost efficient. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's great to give people that variety and option, DJ. A really nice, expansive area. Wow, good numbers tonight. 216 of you. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're all here. If you're enjoying yourselves, do me a favour, hit the like button. It just helps the channel. Um, helps people discover the channel, which is always handy. Stein, how are you doing? Or oh, Steen? There we go. We've got a little bit of... Uh, I don't have access to this land. I'm too close to the river. That's my problem. It was skinny here. So we shall adjust our direction accordingly. I have looked at Umbreon, JP. Little too... Uh, yeah, maybe it's a little bit too forestry. Bull's Gap is being remade for 22, so maybe, maybe that's the solution. J 
Joseph, how are you doing? The microphone, good spot on the microphone, by the way. Uh, it is a deity or a de uh, deity. Um, it's a V07U or a VO7U. I've been doing my research. I was going to get the beacon. I need to branch out. Ugh, get out of here, Args. Jeez, oh. I've told you before. You wait at least an hour before you come out with the dad jokes. You scare people off. Uh, the potato seed pack is still in the depths of Giants testing. Although, uh, I was chatting to Dazed about it today. It's failed a couple of times on a few things. I think he's getting to the end of his uh, levels of tolerance with them. So he's uh, he may release it for PC only and avoid the the Giants rigmarole going forward. Wow, Arcs. Just wow. Red River. Cracking map. Pee Wee, thank you, mate. Take care. Nice to see you again. I'm going to have to ask you to leaf, Arcs. Hey, yeah, Jamie, how's it going, mate? Nice to see you again. No worries, hope you're well, mate. Nice to nice to chat again. How is the car? Music man, the car's brilliant. Brilliant. Electric electric's cool. I uh, have to admit I've been I've had my head turned. Pay attention, FSG, pay attention. Don't read the chat. I, I have a hybrid, Jonathan. As of today, I have a hybrid. And it's... Uh, the electricity bit's quite a novelty. No, we're not, Args. Um... It's all good. We'll sell the electricity, it's worth more. Face cam is frozen, is it? I'm just, I think it was just me that was frozen. Just don't think I moved for a while. <laughs> Shut up, John. It's got red brake calipers, come on. Surely I get some kudos for that. I just didn't move for a while. That's the problem. I got a Land Rover Discovery Sport. Are the silos on the farms multi-fruit? Mike, no, they are um, fermenting silos. So you put grass in them and you get uh, and you get silage out. I might be a ventriloquist. <laughs> Exactly, Nick. It's the same as having neons. Exactly the same as having neons on your... Uh, on your computer. The, the weirdest thing is when you set... Um, you say, oh, you turn the engine on when it's on electric and nothing happens. And you're like, 
The only thing that tells the engine's running is a little green light saying ready. So, uh, yeah, I'll take a bit of getting used to. But Mrs. FSG's happy, so. And we know the rules. Let's set a little GPS here, shall we? This is true, Jan. This is true. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good. Um, B3, this is the Viacon mower set. That came out, uh, I think they released it a couple of weeks after the start of, uh, after FS22 came out. Probably my fave mower set in uh, in the game, actually. It's really well done. Oh, I've managed to turn my uh, GPS off. Well done. Same thing, John. It's Yeah, it's a good one. You can find it's just in the mod-up. Take care, Rusty. Have a good shift. Hoxie, you're slipping dangerously close to <laughs> Twitch Monday levels of chat. Why is that now offset like that? Who knows what's going on here? We'll deal with it. Pop, pop, you're liking this? It is very good. Take care, Chinook. Have a good day, mate. Ah, that's why, because I was driving off centre before. There you go. Sorted itself out now. <laughs> You're supposed to be the well behaved one, Args. Got a bit uh, trigger happy with dropping my. Uh... Take care, Mally. Thanks for uh, stopping by, mate. I'm maybe bitten off more than I can chew here. No, maybe not. It's not that big. I think we're going to spend ages doing grass, but so we'll go and get the forage harvest in a minute. What I want to do is set up an auto drive and see if we can uh... see if we can run the forage harvester. And let auto drive do the pick up and drop off. It's either going to work brilliantly or be a complete disaster, but. We've got to give it a shot, haven't we? going on here. Ah, it's because, oh, that's right. Confusing myself again because of this wonky strip. Right, there we go. Auto drive can detect grass swaths. Now, can it? Oh, no, Dazed. I was going to, I'm going to drive the forage harvester and I'll just have trailers running for me. Milk Tanker J, it is cracking. Really, really nicely finished map. Lots and lots of scope and variety, lots of production points. Really like it.
Good evening, sir. I, I'd love to pronounce your name, but uh, I'm not going <laughs> to. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, B3, yes, the fields are generally pretty, pretty big. We'll zoom out a little bit and uh, show you a few of them. I mean, there's some variety in here. But you've got to bear in mind it's a 4x map, so when you see this on a standard size map, they'd be relatively small fields, but even... Even fields like 16 here is a decent size. Uh, 26 here also a decent size. Um, I didn't read that, Args. <laughs> Welcome, Vlad Vladislav. Ah, oh, dear. He's just getting me back because I'm I showed him rolling a tractor twice. Am I right, Ags? Yes, I... I was too busy looking at the... Uh, the chat. I don't mind, you can all mock me. Hey, Tack, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. <laughs> it's a shame Mark Thor's not here. This would be his cue to say uh, head tracking. Somebody wants to do it in his absence. Jacob, how's it going, mate? Nice to see you. Right, we've actually not got that many rows left to do here. It's quite a nice, uh, broad mow of this. Thank you, Crazy. I appreciate it. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah, for those asking, it's probably probably just a few days away, hopefully. There we go. Clearly not driving fast enough, Derek. Jeffro, nice to see you again, mate. How are you? It's been a long time. Nice to have you back. Hope things are going well. Ah, Tim Maslin's in as well. How are you doing, Tim? That would be an, an extra challenge. I like the idea of that B3. I did. A, I tried to do a realism series. Well, I did do a realism series right at the end of 19. Um, it changes the game completely. Completely. I did one where you couldn't load um, for spreader cedars and things like that you had to do it all using a telehandler and big bags and things like that it was good Derek tell me the magistrate give me six points <laughs> right release the final version is currently being tested all go mail expect to release sometime in the next few days there you go check out DJ's Facebook page for new info on it Nice, Jeffro. Moonlighting at work. Oh, I've done it again. 
trying to trying to lower it back down and I'm hitting the wrong button I'm hitting X instead of V control V there we go and then alt X multitasking it's not one of my strong points Waylon how you doing mate nice to see you as well thanks all for joining tonight nice to see over 200 people just oh, it says 198 it says 201 on my screen hopefully I'll update in a minute that's all right I sent Args a picture the other day I was sitting in the office catching up on mining on Elk Mountain I thought that said lower implants, Scott. I was like, that's the exact opposite of uh, what implants are supposed to do. Welcome from Japan, my friend. Great to have you here. Hello, Vincent. Nice to see you. How's things? Welcome to the stream. There we go. Oh, I love it. I love it when everybody starts to tell me where they're coming from. Lyndon's watching in Italy. We've got Japan. We've got Russia. We've clearly got the US. But the guys in Oz tend to join for a little bit. Start of the day there for them. Obviously, there's a, a random Kiwi in here. As they tend to get everywhere. Nebraska. Well, pop, pop. That explains maybe your interest in this map then, doesn't it? German. Tasty's from Germany. There we go. There's always some South Africans in the house. Rysarth, don't you worry, mate. Preston. Big up the Preston. Big up the North End. Iowa as well, lovely. Canada, Belgium. Valleys from South Wales. <laughs> you couldn't be from anywhere else with a name like that, buddy. Indiana. Scousers. That's great. It's great to know that um, me sitting in my little room in Scotland is making vids that people all over the world are seeing. Something quite, uh, something, in fact, very cool about that. Patriots from Virginia, nice. Oh. Sean's from Ireland. He's, he's tried to be clever and silly night bots got all excited and banned you. There we go. You're back now. There we go. Crikey! The folks from Virginia are in, out in force tonight. Dinkovat from Croatia as well. I love Croatia. Beautiful, beautiful country. Good sailing in Croatia. Oh, another Italian blaster. Nice. Utah trays from Utah. We had a British band in the 90s called the Utah Saints. Do you ever hear of them? Hey, Glovebox is in as well. How you doing? And Hugh. 
John Friel from Erskine up in Scotland my wife's from Paisley mate fact uh, parents live in Erskine now small world eh <laughs> Eric's from Germany too New Hampshire, Josh Oh, I love it I love it And it, it, Do you know what, it also embarrasses me that uh, My uh, My lack of grasp of foreign languages When all of you guys from all over the world Are speaking English At me And I can do some pigeon French that I learnt from high school and that's about it so shocking so I appreciate you all thank you for being here it's lovely to have you all here Oh, took a while to drop then. Jockiness. Gonna order a beer. That's all you need, Peter. I'll get you a long way in life. Need a translator sometimes when we speak to Glasby. That is very true as well, yeah. There you go, next 30 minutes from Frankenmuth. There we go. What's that? <laughs> What's that, David? How not to do it? <laughs> Thank you, Pleasant. Yes, I'm uh, very pleased with it. It's, it's like a kid in a sweet shop today. No worries, Tasty. Thanks for dropping my buddy. Benfidus, thank you, sir. Very kind. Can I show the PDA? Yes, I can, Johnny. There you go. We're working just here at the moment, just on this little green patch here, cutting this grass. This is the farm we own here. Four main farms. Big fields. Big fields. These are up on a little bit of a plateau, these ones. They're quite cool. Take a look. Okay, a windy little road up to them. Two towns as well, one here and one here. And then we've got some other um, production facilities here. A little bit of a kind of cooperative buying point here. More productions here. Uh, a, a good amount of trees, actually. You could actually have a bit of fun if you're a logger on this stuff. Evening, Ola. Nice to see you. Is it good for multiplayer? Being a 4X, I would say it probably is good for uh, for multiplayer, yes. Definitely. And the fact it's got four kind of core farms that, that are well-established farms. You could actually run four separate farms here if you wanted to very, very easily. Janar, is that... Uh, is this a joke incoming, or are you actually asking? <laughs> I would pleasant if I had... I haven't switched it on for this map, actually. I'll have to get that fired up. Right, we'll just grab these last couple of rows and then we'll break out the uh, break out the forage harvester. I'm 
driver how's it going mate nice to see you fifth gen how are you yes I agree Args we should uh, we should do that because those um, those plows we got are uh, a little bit overkill aren't they and a bit narrow guard dog how's it going mate uh, ben Fittis, this is the 8R but this is the custom modding one which should be out in the mod hub relatively soon actually Get out of here, Jan. Uh, John Deere Farms, hopefully in the next few days, it'll be out. Hello, skunk. What are you drinking, mate? What's what's the tipple tonight? Here's Mark. Say, Mark, you missed your, uh, missed your cue to talk about head tracking. It does have good wheels. The old uh, LSWs are very cool. Your one drive is 98% full. What do you do when it's 100% full? You very quickly go and buy another drive. Because everything will stop working. Just vodka. I've done it again! It's quite quiet when that stops, isn't it? Brody, how are you, mate? Nice to see you. Yeah, get yourself a little external SSD driver, something driver. Something that plugs in that you can save some stuff off to. This mower is on Mod Hub. Yes, it is. Everyone loves this mower. Whenever I play with this mower, everybody's interested in it. I think it's because it puts it into swaths, isn't it? Let's fold this up. Uh, John Deere, I have to be honest, I've not started it in New Farmer mode, so I couldn't tell you. Oh, did you ever check it in New Farmer mode? Do you uh, do you know what was on it? I know there was a case tractor, a Demco auger wagon, the usual, yeah, Red Farmers. DJ, DJ's not a John Deere man. something funny going on with the water there it's the shadowing I think he's got that one noted I switch one drive off pretty quickly Thank you, Brake Wind. Well, I've got GPS to thank for that rather than me. <laughs> John Deere, is DJ bringing back Oklahoma and Upper Mississippi? No, I think all his maps for 22 are going to be new ones.
Are you getting notice notifications, Scott? I haven't had. I'm surprised, actually. I haven't had notifications yet. Although, um, if I go and check updates, it does tell me that my uh, my computer doesn't meet the minimum requ minimum requirements for uh, uh, Windows 11, which is kind of funny. Drop these off here for now. We're going to be using them in the not too distant future, so I won't put them away just yet. Right, this is going to be fun. How? I don't know what the. Let's see what sort of volume we can get in that. Uh, Short kind of volume I'm going to get in this uh, this blower here. Just might do it with a. Uh, do it with a bit of grass in, shall we? Tired Geek, how are you doing? This is a fantastic map, mate. It is, uh, it is really, really nice. It's got four, four main maps. Uh, four main maps? Four main farms. Um, and whilst they're kind of all relatively similar in terms of size, you've got a mixture of different animal pens to go on them, but you've also got some... Uh, also got some very nice um, kind of variations. They don't feel identical. Carterman, how you doing? Yeah, you can't beat the old LSWs on the uh, on the tractor. I set it off a treat. Maps farms. What's the difference? Yeah. Are they a decent size for the map? Yes, they are, absolutely. I've just... I'm, a, I'm holding... I keep reading articles saying, not, not yet, not yet. There's no huge benefit to switching over yet, so... Um, I don't actually know what the main difference is. Apparently a little bit of performance increase. But then I'm... I don't really have anything to worry about. The refresh option when you click into a folder. Right, let's. What, what I'm going to do, I'll get the. Uh, we'll get the forage harvester down as well. I'll put a little bit of grass into the trailer so we can see the trigger when we pull up to it. We'll run the auto drive course and uh, hopefully, I think we probably need to run to. Probably need to run two trailers actually, so I might buy another one of those rolling trailers. Oh, I quite like the sounds on this, that's quite nice. Oh uh, yeah, I read that the an the Android stuff was a little bit uh, Antonio Carlos, how are you? Nice to see you.
WTH. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Dealership's huge. Saran, nice to see you again. How are you doing? It's quite a long trek along here, isn't it? WTH with the 20 bucks. Thank you, sir. That is incredibly kind of you. I appreciate that very much. Indeed, you don't have to do that, but uh, it'll get ploughed back into the channel. Multiplayer servers, giveaways. We've got a few giveaways coming up in the next wee while, I think. We are rapidly closing on on 50k. Rapidly. 4,000 subs this month alone, which is... Uh, which is my biggest month ever, actually. Oh, unfold pipe first. Big burn. Unfold machine. Lower header. You're going to point at a trailer? Yes, you are. Thank you. How far will he go before he's about there? Right, that's all I want is a little bit of grass so we can go and set that trigger point off. One percent, five hundred forty liters. So we'll do a trigger point here somewhere. Yeah, Wyoming is bringing in subs, views, everything. I'm blown away by how uh, how good that is. Um, what am I doing now? Uh, auto drive. There's another one that I need to set up again. Keybinds, auto drive. Toggle HUD, alt keypad zero. That is why it's not working because there we go. I need to turn this off now, don't I? Managed to turn on that, and I can't remember what it is to turn it off. Anyway, we're good. We're good for now. Let's call Grassland. Wait. One second while we just above tractor. Turn that off. Okay. Turn it back on. Bear with me while I go through this. Just a simple fellow. Takes my brain a little bit of time for things to work. Now I've got my straight line on because I've switched on my uh, my guidance option for uh, enhanced vehicle. And can anybody remind me how to turn that on and off without me having to pour through the menus to do it? I don't really want that white line sticking out. I'm going to make this two-way as well. I think I might introduce a second trailer. Wow, time's flying. It's already quarter past ten. That's ridiculous. So look, 
We've got our splines already. But it's going the other way. Which is frustrating. Also, right down the middle of the road. How unhelpful is that? Well, I can stay there. Michael, how's it going, mate? Nice to see you. It's going well, thank you very much. It is going very well. All right, let's tail it up here as quickly as you can. Swing it in here. I'm trying to keep this wide enough. So, if I'm running two trailers, they're not going to clatter into each other at any point. They should stop as well. Oh, that actually reminds me of our farm at home when you pull in there. That steep drop on the slope. We used to have a bit like that on our farm. And if you got it wrong with a heavy trailer, the tractor would run away from you so there's the trigger now what you want to do with auto drives just roll past it further than you want to um, and we'll call this grass unload silo take care dazed sleep well mate we'll catch you soon mate uh, loving the new updates to the potato pack that I saw today as well. Very, very cool. Right, I'm going to cut across. See, I'm cutting across lines and no, don't like to do that. First rule of auto drive, treat it like a train set. Had to swing out a little bit there because it's a big trailer. Um, John Deere Farms, of course, by an auto drive coming to Mod Hub. Yes, they will do. When? I don't know. In fact, auto, is auto drive on there yet? No. It's anything like FS19. They weren't out till relatively near the end of his life cycle. Well, auto drive was out a bit longer, wasn't it? Yeah, you had to use engine braking. Usually, if you put your pedal, if you put your foot on the brake pedal, just push the weight of the trailer would push you down the hill with your tyres locked. It's quite scary. You only did it once. We had a few concertina tractors over the years there. They're going to put another one in. Yeah, it is. Join those up. Okay, that is the end of that. Now, I'll turn that off. Scroll through my courses. Um, I want the combine course. There we go. And we're going to go to grassland weight and we're going to go to grass unload silo let's turn it on right, he's in position moment of truth first time we've done this nope done it again so this one needs to be grassland weight and there we go Now, did anybody put in how to turn off these 
pesky GPS menu and show lines off. No, it. This is an enhanced vehicle. So I'll run them for now. There you go. Auto driving. Look how slick that is now. This is the new version of Auto Drive that the other day. Like that skunk. It's always satisfying when you pull this off. I have to turn those lines off though. Look how responsive it is. Now, hopefully it will just sit there. Let me just have a look in Enhanced Vehicle. Um, I want to be able to Right control, keypad 3. So this is the problem. Everything's on keypads. Um, change headler mode. Actually, I have got... I have got a test page that I set up. Um... Local line modes. There it is. Good old sim dash. Right, he's going to have to run back now. He's waiting for me there. So let's see what happens here. I don't know what my setup level is. Well, there you go. Fully automated tractor running alongside me. There we go. Might have to turn it off if I keep doing that. Or I just need to get the muscle memory to not turn it on. Can you ask got the new Thomas? That is available in the mod hub, my friend. But look, every time I move my wheel, the response from the from the 8R is instantaneous. I'm gonna fill up this uh I'm going to fill up the silage uh, silo very quickly at this rate. Love the roll and pack. So many good little or big trailers in it. Hope he doesn't try and tip this out of his grain door. That'll take a while, won't it? Totally missed the edge of that, but that's fine. We'll come back and get that. Is this map optimised for... I don't know what you mean, optimised. It. You could use big machinery or small machinery. It's entirely up to you. Depends how much of a masochist you are running a... Thank you, Mike. Much appreciated. It is, it's good fun putting it together kind of having a bit of a toll on some of my other vids because it takes so long but uh, I'm loving it I'm loving putting it together as well on the comment the response has been amazing honestly I had uh, nearly 2,000 likes on uh, one of the episodes and uh, I think one dislike and I'm like jeez that's crazy people are watching it for ages as well Uh, Mark, Greystone may have may have run its course. I might, I'm going to probably phase out Greystone now and uh, maybe um, introduce some new stuff. Some nice new maps coming out now. So, oh yeah, you. I'm doing it, Skunk. We talked about that on Monday night. Actually, we're probably going to do twelve episodes a season or something like that, and then yeah, take maybe a a month or so off to. Uh, basically plan for the next series because the, the writing takes time writing the, the story because it's all a little bit ad hoc at the moment a bit ad lib but uh, dislike was probably jib <laughs> so there he goes he's finished look at this 
So he'll just head now straight into a tree. Hopefully not. And this is why we need a second trailer, really. Because you don't want to be waiting. In fact, while he's doing that, let's... Let's go and get a second trailer set up. I think we'll probably go for another one of those Rolands because they are quite nice and they're big, 50,000 litres. But it just shows you how much stuff um, is going to come off that land if that was one. 51,000 additional lights. I don't know if I need them, but we're going to buy them. There we go. Kind of hoping we'll just see him at some point. It's got quite a long way to go. Ben Fittis, definitely worth checking out the video that's in the description from Argsy Gaming. He's done a brilliant map tour of it. I'll give you all of that information. But like it, my normal see, I wish I would get a fee for it. Slightly worried that, that that tractor's just disappeared. Let's just have a look, shall we? Make sure he's... Uh, he's probably in a river somewhere, isn't he? Oh, no, there he is. It's just a long trek, that, then, isn't it? Shall we ride with him? Seems to be pretty happy here, doesn't he? Glad there's no collision on that sign, by the way. Lyndon, what's that on your upper right corner of the screen? That is part of Enhanced Vehicle, and there's the new course play uh, alerts that sit in the top corner there as well. Which you can't turn off, which is a little bit frustrating. But uh, maybe, maybe that'll be tweaked in a future... In a future update, but here we go. This is, uh, I'm feeling quite confident to jump out of this now, and uh, let's just jump out here, trigger the second tractor while he's unloading. Right, let's send him. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? Um, Combine, grassland weight, unload, unload silo, go. So he's heading back, he's unloading, look at this, first time. I love the little bangs on the trailers as they come down, brilliant. John Deere Farms. Am I from Canada? I wish I was from Canada. That'd be way cooler than Scotland. But no, I'm from uh, I'm from Scotland. Farmer kid, take care, man. <laughs> Not <a> Canadian. <laughs> Jason's getting upset. <laughs> so if I go into here, let's quickly go into here. Fifty thousand liters. So what's it going to take? It's going to take a decent amount, isn't it? But we've got to have tractors waiting for us at this rate. So we will jump in here. This is the final test, really. I'm kind of pleased how this is going because um I did this as a I did this as a big test on 19. No, don't none taken, Jason. None taken. So let's just wait for our... Jonathan White, next couple of days, hopefully. Next couple of days. Um, sorry, I'm just looking back at... 
Okay. And my little enhanced vehicle test uh, sim dash and trying to see if I can turn off that. Head on mode. The enhanced vehicle version of GPS is really good, but it's all controlled and it clashes with so many other. Um, oh, look at him, just straight across somebody else's cornfield. Don't you worry, son. They won't mind. Probably should have put a void crop on. So, this wasn't working in the last couple of updates for uh, auto drive and course play. It was. A little bit temperamental. Now I've messed with none of the settings on it. Oh, it's going to go the other side this time. That's interesting. Look at that. Seamless. And there's the other trailer waiting. Come on, you're in my... In my tracks now. Come on. You should be on the other side of me. Come on. Right. Switching lanes. You're going to do that. This is why you don't go on the inside. They sure do pop pop, especially on big farms. Just get so much more done. If he'd if he'd switch to the other side, now I think you might be able to choose the side that they approach from if you wanted to. Or I just need to be clever and. Uh, like a waltz now if he's clever he might let's see what he does here let's see what he does here come on you could have kept going then he's making it difficult for himself This is the, the great thing about um, auto drive is it stops itself and reworks out what it's going to do. Cuba, yes, you can absolutely. <laughs> it's like a bad prom date. I think he's got himself a little bit tangled here. Let's see if he works this out. I'm intrigued. I'm interested to see if he can work this out. He's going to do it, you know. I help him out by moving forward a bit. Come on, don't tell me that's not bad. That is not bad at all, is it? Oh, he's off again. He wants to go this side. No. He's doing a little waltz. He'll come back in a minute. Go on, work out that other tractor there and pass around him. Look at that. Mind the river. Come on. Come on, come to Papa. You're so close. You're done. There we go. That's all we needed, wasn't it? A little bit of moral support. relatively slick I'll take that if he'd gone to the other side which I definitely think is an option to to choose 
I mean, but this is this is literally straight out of the box. I've changed no other settings than uh, setting a start and an end point and making sure it matched the course that the uh, the harvester was on. So for it to be this slick without any tinkering is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good indeed. Now I'm interested to see when the other what's when the other trailer drives on. It's probably set to the default again of about eighty-five percent. So we'll uh, we'll see. It's not taking long to fill these trailers up, though. Look at that, that's a nice pick, isn't it? Look at that, across the valley there. Right, and this is where I've got to get smart to try and keep the tractor on the outside or in the right lane. Let's pick up these headlands. See, he's on the inside again now, which doesn't help me on the corners very much. Now, it would help me if he was further back, so I can adjust that as well. If I think he's getting too close. Actually, the shallower corner is not so bad. So you can set the trailer to be further back from the... He's running very parallel to him at the moment. You could have him running slightly further behind and that would stop on the... Stop that issue of getting, getting in the way. Let's see if we can finish this little headland. Either that or while when he's full and pulls away. The other guy's not triggered yet, so so he's full, look, he's getting out of the way. So if I line myself up with one of these straight lines here. Let's see if the second tractor drives on, there he comes. Now, they're going to crash into each other, they're going to pass. Well, look at that. Pretty good, eh? Pretty good. Not bad for straight out of the box, just Turn in a few buttons on. That wasn't technically difficult to do, and we are go again. Using tractor trailers, tra you mean pickup trailers, Joe? Probably, you're probably right. I would. This was purely an exercise in. Um, Purely an exercise in just testing and doing a little bit of an auto auto drive test. Ben Fittis, I stream every Wednesday. Uh, I do a Monday night stream on Twitch. I may stream on Saturday this week. It all depends on whether or not the Wyoming series vid is ready. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But definitely next Wednesday for YouTube. And definitely on a Monday for Twitch. I will reset my cache, yes. Oh, I'm reading the chat and not paying attention to where I'm going and missing stuff. Uh, Jays, I'll probably finish in the next 20, 20, 25 minutes, something like that. What settings did I adjust? non joss I literally turned it on. Which I would never have been able to do in 19 and it's running as smoothly as this straight away I mean there's a couple of little got a little bit confused on some of the corners it's probably going to mess me up here as well on this turn although being on the outside is better than being on the inside so he might be alright no, he's totally fine totally fine laid back is the word Scott it's a different experience is it it's, it's um, yeah Probably less about the farming, more about the having a laugh. Plus you get a little bit of an inside track as to what happens on 
some of my vids I test mods with crikey we've done everything from editing mods to designing logos to um, setting stuff up for the next live stream or vid it's been it's been good fun 18 plus it's, I wouldn't even say it's 18 plus but there's a lot of innuendo shall we say Maybe a slightly more grown-up topics. Um, probably, Joe, yes. Probably. I would love to do... I'm, I did this for 19, and it was so much fun. So, uh, yeah, I think we should, uh, we should probably consider that. I'm a little bit behind the mic. I think Courseplay is now... And not that we're using Courseplay here, we're just using AutoDrive. But... Uh, it's uh, it's definitely a, a, a point in its development where I think it's running pretty smoothly now. So you could almost go with a third trailer here. It's going to take me... The other tractor's not going to be back by the time this one's full. Which is interesting. Well, it does mean I can set myself. There you go. Heat is done. Thank you, Scott. I'm in his way now. Look. He wants to cross my path slightly to get back to the... Uh, to the load point. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's on his way back. So three, three trailers would be optimum here. Although that would... That's what we're saying there. What do we think? That's a 500,000? 100, 200, 300, 400? Yeah, 500,000 litres, I would say. Turn it into silage already, though. So what I'll do while I'm waiting for the other guy... I'm going to line myself up with this end here. I'm going to pick up these bits. Then it'll be easier to cut into a row. Do a bit of housekeeping on this corner. This is this thing where there's a, almost a little bit of storage in these, and there's not in real life. It just goes straight through. They have no ability to do that, but uh, it's kind of a nice little bonus. You can tidy up some of that. Cut too close to the edges there. Aussie joins us, farm manager. All the best, Jason. <laughs> Take care, buddy. My fellow Canadian. <laughs> oh, nice, Mr. Sim. you got your work cut out there. That's not an easy task. There's our other boy back. He'll hit his... He just hit his trigger point then. And look at that. Less than a couple of seconds later, he's recognised he's needed. And he's here, and we're off. So you could you could virtually run this seamlessly if you had uh, three trailers running. All right, we've got this one straight ahead. I know we're going to run a little bit slowly here, but oh, it feels it always feels nice when you pull this stuff off. Jenna, seven months as a member. Welcome, mate. It's been a pleasure having you here. You're doing you're doing some brilliant work on the multiplayer servers as well. I do appreciate all your help on those. So, thank you, thank you. Step one. Step one and a half. Well, stick at it, mate. The reward at the end of it. Um, Tide Geek, you should be able to do that. I've just not got it driving on at, uh, if I set it to drive on sooner, it might follow. Just trying to think if we can do that. Um, let's just see what my drive on, um, 
Oh, he's off now. See? He's waiting for nobody. This boy's super efficient. Um, Pathfinder factor. Use folders. Collision detection. Um, look ahead. I like to put 8 on. For some reason it just... Pipe offset, distance combine, onload fill level, field exit. Um, maybe it's in. Uh, maybe it's in. Seize off. He's like, oh, I've had enough of you. Maybe it's in this one. Yeah, so we've got this. Pre call level. Let's drop that right down to 20. Call second unloader when the current unloader reaches the pre-call fill level. So that should call us. I'm disappointed he drove off. <laughs> so we should. So when yeah, let's let's just see. Let's just see, shall we? As we sit here twiddling our thumbs, because that guy decided to clear off. Yeah, it, do you know what? It's confusing, Tide. You, you've got some settings you need to put on to the the combine element or the forage harvester element and some bits you have to put on the trailer element. And if you don't get them quite right. Keith, you wonder what you think of Clarkson Farms? I loved the first series of Clarkson Farms. Classic Jeremy Clarkson. I have to say, I was really cynical about it before he started. Um... There's a second trailer though. See him over in the distance there. Um, because he's like his his hatred for farming has been quite um, clear. Um, but actually, I, I I thought he did, I thought it was a really good exercise in showing how difficult it is for farmers to make a living. He did all of that work and got a hundred quid for it at the end of the year. Look at those two. They've just passed themselves gracefully there with no fuss at all. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I think so too, Joss. I think he kind of realised there's... Nobody's doing farming to make a, make a fortune. They're doing it because they love it. I think it was, David. Yeah, I think just because I stopped and... So we'll just keep going with this guy. Just run him into the bushes, shall we? Oh, give me a little, give me a little kiss there. You see that? A little uh, love tap. Aye, Loki. That's cool. If you've got to go to the shop then. You've got to go and treat yourself to some cow juice. I'm, intrigued, I'm intrigued to know what the other trailer's doing now. It's just sitting there, isn't he? Yeah. Talk about, like, it's a good tourist trap, isn't it? So look. He's worked out he's not full yet. So he's coming back now. So I think... Uh, tired. We're going to see what happens when you've got two... Two trailers. He'll just tag behind, I think. Yeah, he's staying with us. I wonder what he was going to do then. Let's... Uh, I'm going to have to deftly spin this round. Trying to open up my turning circle. In fact, I'm going to do... I was going to do this row, but I'm going to do the next one, actually. Uh, I'm not sure what the other trailer's doing at all. I think just as we got to where he wanted to be.
Yeah, he's just burning through diesel. Oh, here he comes. Oh, you see, he's following the same track, I think. Is he? What's he doing? Come on. Is he picking up the pace, or is he driving the same speed as us? Oh, he's picked up the pace now, hasn't he? No, it's holding back quite far. I think you can adjust how close he is. He's closing in now. Right, let's see what we can do on this turn. It didn't really work last time, so let's try let's try this next one. Let's keep the turns a bit shallower. Come on, you're not are you not impressed with this? Like hats off. Auto drive guys. This feels so much smoother than 19. So much smoother. Me and my old school, best place to start, my friend, is in the in-game mod hub. So in the main in the main homepage, downloadable content. And go in there and start with that stuff. Once you've found your feet in there, you can go and uh, explore some of the other places. <clears throat> now, if I lift my header here, I'm slightly worried if I lift my header... I think you're right, Cranky, and isn't it impressive that we're still only really, I mean, four months into the game? Just over four months into the game? And the improvements they've made are uh, as good as they are. I'm really keen to see what happens when this trail is full. Ah, thank you, Tide. That's good to know. I literally updated it. I know Args had been playing with it and he'd said it's rubbish that you couldn't turn it off, but that's good. Because, again, look, if I do my hide HUD when I do my screenshots, I would like it to... In an ideal world, it would hide with the rest of the HUD. But if you can turn it off, that's uh, that's handy. Right, we're not far away from being full here, so let's see how quickly this other boy drives on. A moment of truth. There we go. One gone. Ah, so he's reversing. Why does he need to reverse? He could have just driven straight forward and done a loop there. But there you go. He is costing me coin. But that's clever. Even the fact they've not hit each other there. Course play would have chucked one out of the back of the... Just as a little bit of a calculation on where he wants to go with his course. Oh no, he's decided he wants to run into me. Let me just get out of your way a little bit there. There was a little bit of a nudge there again. There we go. No, you can leave. I don't need you anymore. And he's not dropped yet. Possibly, Mark. Yeah. That's interesting. Keep an eye on that. Right, we're going to try lifting the header here. Let's see what does the second trailer. 
Maybe it's just coffee break. Maybe it's union. It's union approved coffee break. Evening, Fat Trout. How you doing, mate? Oh yeah, he's gone to the uh, the outside bathroom. He might just be calculating his route. Stranger things have happened. That's what impresses me so much about auto drivers. The, the speed it can calculate routes on the fly. Let's not crash into the river. No, he's still there. I wonder if he's going to go when this guy goes. Joss, that is a terrible joke. But I like it. It's my kind of joke. Terrible is my kind of joke. I wonder if there's an order. Do you think there's an order? Christian's liking it. I like that, Christian. Every time I look, every time I turn my wheel, the tractor turns his wheel too. Following in complete harmony. He certainly has, Scuba. He certainly, certainly has. To answer your question, Christian, it is uh, using auto drive. Uh, yeah, I wonder if there's an order to the uh, the trailers. So one. Maybe this guy, because he was half full and then drove off. Maybe he needs to be unloaded. I don't know. I'm speculating now. Let's spin things around. Oh, poor one for me, Scott. Oh. Let's see what's going on here now. You're going to try and come the other side of me. Oh, he's had enough. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, pop, pop. I don't know, actually. Just can't get the help these days, can you? Can't get the help. It's a good point, Joss. Let's do that. I know why it is, because I haven't got engine... Right. Go on, run along. Let's trigger you next. Drive to unload point. He's got him, got himself confused. What's our other boy doing? Other boy stopped as well now. Yeah, if I had uh, automatic engine run on. There you go, it's triggered something.
don't know what the other boy's doing now. Oh no! Oh, I thought he was going in the river then. Has he got space left as well? Are we getting... Oh, sorry, John. Oh, another, another loop there. Could have filled another trailer in this time. Oh, there we go. He's just... That's him. Him for days. Soon, Scott. I'll be in Texas soon for a beer, for a, a beer and a bourbon. Bourbon. Come on, one of you. I don't know, you get them nice big tractors. Right. You think it's grass and juice, Mobius? Let's... Let's have a look, shall we? Um, no, restrict the loader to it. Avoid fruit. No, parking field. After unloading a combine, if not. No, no parking in the field. Cycle, pick up, deliver. Drive to unload point. Toggle automatic unload point. Oh, it's so small, that, isn't it? Drive to destination. Unload combine. You just get... Did he just get stuck on... Uh... Oh no, he's gone back again. It's like synchronised something. <laughs> oh dear. What are you doing, you clowns? Put some music to that. Right, I need, I need the front one to get out of the way. He's full. Go and unload yourself, for goodness sake. Oh, almost, I thought he was going to work it out then. Oh, is it called two options, Squirrel? Ah, that's interesting. Let's try it without that then. It was going so well as well. See, this guy's just in the way now, isn't it? I know. As soon as you start messing with the settings... Let's get him out of the way. Come on. I'm going to give you about two seconds to work this out. We'll pass the end of stream time anyway. Come on. <laughs> That's the problem, Args. That's the problem. You came back. It was going so well, wasn't it? It's too qualified, John. Too qualified. Right, we're going to have to give him a bit of a helping hand here.
Yeah, I think we're going to have to... What I'd like to do is send this guy to... to destination. It just keeps pirouetting there. Drive to unload point. Yes, please. Go to the unload point. That's all I want you to do. Go to the unload point. <laughs> Jeb's phoned them both and gone, I'll pay you 10 bucks to not. Argsy's shorts, yeah, Argsy's legs. Drive to one low point. It's triggered there. It's worked that out, but it'll just do loops again. It's just chewing up my field. What's Mark Thor doing? <laughs> yeah, what we'll do, we'll just, because we're probably too far away from the course, actually, which isn't helping us. Bet it wouldn't help me with the retro. We are a long way from the course, to be fair. I might be confusing it a bit. Oh, it was going so well, I'm annoyed. We were flying. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good call, Fred. It's a good call. Let's see, shall we? So drive to unload point. Let's just turn on so we can see. So he should trigger on grassland weight now and then disappear because he knows he's full. And there we go, that's all it needed. It needed a little bit of a... It needed a bit of a reset. He's on 85% as well. Will he try and get into the field? I can override it though, can't I? Exactly, Andrew. I'm doing the hard work so you guys don't have to. Uh, it was set to 85, Fred, so that makes a lot of sense. So they were both full and getting confused. So if I jump over two, if I jump over to the there we go. Wait for them to arrive. We'll let them both unload. This could be a good point to finish things off for the night if they unload which I have no reason to believe they won't because what else has gone wrong oh, he fairly swung in there didn't he jeez oh maybe I need to drop my corner in speed or I'll end up doing what's known in the industry as an args doing an args Got a squish on those LSWs there. How nice is that?
There we go, nicely done. Did I see there was a John Deere blower released this week as well? Look at him giving a little nudge there. Yeah, look at that. I like big butts. No. <laughs> yeah, see, now he's got impatient. And he's riled it into the dairy barn. Come on, you can come forward. You've like you have zero patience. So he's away. There we go. Number two. We are back up and running. There's the old boy going down there. Heading back to the field that we are making progress. Nice, I could see this working out. It was a, a nice Wednesday stream. We've uh, I've had some fun with this tonight. Thank you all for joining. It's been brilliant. Over 200 for the whole, uh, whole stream, which is really great to see. So, um, let's listen to the lovely little audio noises. And there he goes, back to the field. Just sit and drink another half a bottle of bourbon while uh, he's waiting. So, um, it's been a pleasure, guys and girls. I uh, hope you have a good rest of your weeks. hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, check this map out. Honestly, it's a killer. A couple of days' time, I guarantee there's a lot of you will be playing on this, because it's that good. Um, so, for now, from me, Farm Some Guy, thank you all very, very much. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.